Watch you guys, is it worth buying a next business PC in 2023? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. I received an email from a gentleman saying he wanted to buy one of these. Is it worth buying? It's the Dell Precision T3620 workstation. And this is the one he was talking about. And there's quite a few people on YouTube that have covered this particular PC. And I'm going to go through and give you my honest opinion on whether these are worth buying or not. Now, whether you're using these for uh, pretty much general computer use, but mainly I think a lot of people are buying these for gaming systems. They do come with the i5-5600 or the i7-6700 and there's some other variants as well. They come in 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, and 16 gigabyte variants, some with hard drive, some without, and here they are listed on uh, eBay. So you can see here, you can pick these up at a reasonable price, but are they worth buying? And this is what we're going to be talking about. This one here, you can see £119, uh, pretty beat up this one, uh, but it does have an i7-6700 in it, and there is some RAM in there, and also an SSD. And a lot of this stuff is going to be really old stuff. Uh, again, this one here, £119.95, free shipping. And it's the i5 variant 6500, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive on here, all for £119.95 delivered to your door. Is it worth purchasing one of these? That's what we're going to take a look at in here. I'll give you all the pros and cons in this video and some of the pitfalls to look out for if you're looking to buy one of these okay now some of these do come with drives and some come without drives some come with very little bit of memory in them and some come with a lot of memory in them depending on what ones you're going for just remember they're not always uh, in good shape some of these have been pretty battered around and scratched they do look ugly in my personal opinion but we'll cover all this a little bit later on so let's get down to the meat and potatoes and take a look at the actual system. First off, the power supply in here is proprietary. So you will need to replace this if you are going to talk about using this as a gaming system. I know some people will say you can use these power supplies, but they are only 365 watts and there isn't many amps on the 12 volt rail. So you're not going to be able to use this with a big high end graphics card. It's going to cause major problems. Yes, it's 80 plus gold. It's just not worth it. Also, the motherboard is proprietary and there's very lack of uh, SATA ports on here and other things on the board itself. There is an M.2 slot on the board, so you can use these and upgrade them a little bit. But again, you are stuck with this uh, horrible green motherboard, which is proprietary to Dell. You have no clue about the condition of the actual computer itself or no clue of what the pins are like on the board. You're just buying it on an old office surplus PC. If you're looking at the variants here, there's quite a few Xeon versions, i7, and you could end up getting a, a Xeon version instead of an i7. Some people list them wrong, and they could have uh, different types of RAM in them. Also, you can see here, we do have the PCI Express slot, which means you can turn this into a gaming system, but you will need to upgrade uh, that power supply, which is important. The Intel C236 chipset is not the best for gaming, but again, if you want to replace things like motherboards and things like that, then obviously you're going to have to pay a pretty premium for another motherboard to make this a non-proprietary uh, system. So Dell motherboards are proprietary uh, to Dell, and they've got a load of functionality on them that will cause you loads of problems if you try to case swap uh, the case that come with this build. If you're looking to replace the motherboard, which will then make it non-proprietary so you can use your own case, again, this comes at an extra cost. You're going to pay anything between 100 to 150 pounds for a motherboard, and these are used, and you don't know what sort of condition and what life it's had. And this is the problem once you start going down uh, this rabbit hole trying to buy a Dell system. And you can even source some of the parts yourself separately, like the CPU, the RAM, and the board, but again, this will all top up to be quite an expensive build, especially for a processor that was released in 2015. This motherboard here, for instance, is nearly 100 pounds and it's a used board, and you have no clue of what life it's led. It may have been overclocked in the past, there might be some bent pins in here, and again, it's 100 pounds for a used piece of hardware which was released in 2015. So bear that in mind when you can 
possibly build yourself a brand new system like a Gigabyte B550 Gaming XV2 motherboard, which is £104.99. You can probably get a cheaper motherboard for around about £80 or even less. And you've got the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G, which has built in graphics, and it's a pretty good processor for that sort of price. Again, drop in some memory at £38.98, brand new, and this is 3200 MHz, which will be perfectly fine. XMP uh, C16 which is reasonable get yourself a cheap case 34 pounds in english money which is pretty good you can do a bit more research and find yourself a cheaper case or cheaper motherboards you can do all of this i'm just knocking this up together just to show you again evga 600 watt power supply it's a white label version but 45 pounds and 83 pence and you'll have yourself a brand new power supply you would need to buy the power supply and probably a NVMe drive for that other machine anyway. So you're going to be spending this money regardless whether it'll be for new or for that Dell Optiplex uh, because you want to bring it up to speed. Again, if you was having that Dell Optiplex, you could possibly buy something like this. And again, it's extra money. Not all of them come with an SSD and not all of them come with uh, hard drives. So bear that in mind. You're going to need to get yourself one of these cables which is an adapter, which is going to adapt the power cable for the power supply so you can plug it into the board if you're using the Dell Optiplex motherboard inside that uh, case. Again, you're going to need a graphics card for both of these systems unless you use the onboard graphics for the Ryzen. And again, these come in at all sorts of prices like £125 for a GTX 1660. So depending on what you're looking for, you're going to have to buy these things regardless if you're buying the Dell Optiplex for uh, gaming. So these things will top up and I'll give you an example. And I've not spent a lot of time trying to find the best deals out there. I'm just going to give you a rough average of what you'll be paying uh, between the two. And of course, what you're going to get on other YouTube channels is convincing people that these are a great purchase because they're showing you it on their channel. Some of these are sponsored, by the way. And of course, what they're doing is dropping in a graphics card and showing you how good it is at playing games, when really they're not breaking it down and showing you uh, some of the pitfalls. Look at this right here, Ryzen 5 5600G versus the i7-6700, okay? Look at the difference in CPU benchmarks there. It's a massive difference uh, in performance. And again, there's more cores, more threads. It's newer hardware, newer technology. And this is what you should be thinking about. This is built in 2021, and there's plenty of other chips you could choose. I'm just using this for example. And on the single uh, thread rating is 3,188 compared to 2,298. And this is why you're going to end up with a lot of stuttering, uh, lag spikes, and things like that on the older hardware compared to on modern new hardware. And it's quite a big difference. So bear that in mind when. People are telling you to buy this sort of stuff. And it's pretty much the same thing if you bought the i5 variant, which is the i5-6500. And you can see the CPU score is even less on this one. It's minus 71% compared to the minus 59% on the i7. And on the single uh, thread core, it's not that much difference between the two, only about 100 odd points. But compared to the Ryzen 5 5600G, it's night and day. So to me, it's a no-brainer. You are looking towards the future and you're getting much more bang for your buck with a Ryzen 5 5600G. And the pricing is not that much difference. You'll be quite shocked to find out that the pricing for all of this stuff is not that much different. So what we got here, the difference is the new PC will cost you £471.69. That is brand new, but using a used graphics card, which is what you'll be using in the Dell Optiplex. Now remember, for the Dell, it's £340.75, which is a difference of £130.94. So now you get the point I'm trying to make. It's only £130, and I'm guaranteed if I spent a bit more time, I could even bring that new price PC down even more, and the price difference wouldn't be that great. So save your money and go for the new PC. And these are the reasons why it listed on the left. You're going to get no support for Windows 11 or newer Windows versions when released by Microsoft on the Dell Optiplex. No resale value when you resell your Dell Optiplex. You're going to lose money. Lower performance than newer hardware. Windows operating system will be obsolete by 2025. 
that is when Windows 10 uh, end of life will happen and you won't be able to upgrade to a newer operating system because it just simply doesn't support it. It's got an ugly case and you won't be able to case swap it very easily because of the proprietary parts inside uh, that Dell system. Also, no upgrade path. Not really a lot of upgrade opportunities for the Dell compared to a brand new build. Unlike the new PC where you can put uh, whatever upgrade you want on there and go right up with your memory and also a brand new CPU with more power in it if you wanted to. Same thing goes for the warranty. You have no warranty on this system whatsoever, whereas on the new one, you do get a year's warranty and you also get guarantee warranties on some of the hardware for longer periods, depending on what you buy. Known issues like frame stuttering, lag, frame drops and other stuff like that on older systems. And this is a known issue because you're trying to put modern day hardware into an old system that wasn't really designed to play games. And this is why you're going to have a lot of stuttering and things like that. Also, the life expectancy of a PC is around about five to eight years. The CPU in the Dell is already uh, released in 2015, which makes it already eight years old. And you have no clue of what one you're going to get. It could be badly damaged, badly scratched, and also the hardware could be on its last legs because you don't know what life it's had. So these are Dell Precisions. You don't know whether they've been sitting in some warehouse somewhere being used 24-7 and being kicked around, and you just don't know what condition it's going to be in. It could be on its last legs. The guy that's selling these are not testing them. They basically take all the parts out of these old systems, make some good ones, and then basically put them on eBay and sell them. Uh, you know, And they're getting them for free after doing a rollout for that company. So bear that in mind, you could be buying a heap of trouble. Now, there is a chance that you could pick one of these up that's in mint condition and uh, it's got a pretty high spec, but I can guarantee you, you're not going to get it at a cheap price. Those prices then go up and it makes it a non-viable purchase. So just bear that all in mind. Anyway, it's not to say that these systems can't play games and you can't convert them into a gaming system. It's just whether it's worth it today in 2023. And again, looking at the price difference, I would say it's probably not. I would save my money and build yourself a brand new system that, for the reasons that I've given you here. Now, remember, if someone on YouTube is telling you that these are a pretty good purchase, remember, they're not using these systems themselves. They're just purchasing them to make a video so they could bring some interest to the channel and then earn revenue from it. And that will probably either be resold or sitting in a corner somewhere. And of course, you've just then gone and listened to that person and bought one of these on the strength of what they're selling you, when really it's just content for their channel. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.